What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Let's do this like Survivor. Let's just uh, recap what we just did right there. What do we do? Let's talk about engineering. <laughs> oh, it's a on. thankless job, bro. You sit there, rile that code all day. <laughs> As you sit in that air-conditioned break room eating free pretzels and free seaweed, you're like, dude, do you even appreciate what I do here? Exactly, man. I'm the one doing the nitty-gritty. I'm the one really focusing on the details, man. If it wasn't for me, you guys would have nothing. You wouldn't even have an app. Account team wouldn't have anything to sell, bro. Yeah, exactly. I see all you hot people just trying to flex and like look cool on the gram. I'm the one who made the app. You just talk about it. Yeah, what, what, in fact, what would you sell if it wasn't for me? If I didn't make your sick app, what would you sell? Air? What would you sell? Corn nuts? Or a pencil? Or maybe even a pencil, yeah, or like a stapler or something? Yo, uh, you saw that article I linked about Elon moving to Oh, yeah, Austin. dude, there is so Austin much Austin is going to be shit. full this- of dorks. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be nerd city. Fuck everything. The traffic, all that, that's the least of their concerns. It's going to be nerds. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure everyone in Texas is concerned about that. Comedians and tech people? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. I don't want to be anywhere near that. I don't want to be anywhere near... You go into a bar and to your it's left... It's literally it, us, dude. <laughs> whatever, man. At this point in life, we're trying to get away. Yeah, that's true. We're trying to be different. You know what I mean? That's true. I'm trying to forget. It is, it is funny how you just nailed our our Venn diagram, though. Yeah. <laughs> Me as tech yeah. people, we're smack in the middle of that. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it's a, it's different when it's together. Like a funny engineer or an engineering comedian, okay. But just strictly one or the other, Yeah. see you later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I remember Marvel when I... Comics and SpaceX employees, you see, that sounds awful. That sounds terrible. Yeah. I remember when I left, before I left San Francisco, I think I've told you this before. I remember like sitting at a table at Pashi's Pizza and the yeah. table right next to us. It was like, you know, the table was way too close. It was like a foot away from us. Mm-hmm. And they're mm-hmm. talking so loudly about how much money they're raising. And, nice. uh, you know, like finding a product market fit and all these like, they're just throwing around tech buzzwords. Yeah. You know, they're raising money for something ridiculous. I remember the guy said the product and it was like, it was something stupid, which probably is a giant app now. You know, it was like a yeah. dog walking app that at that, t- yeah. at that time, everyone was like, what the fuck is, but now yeah. it's like, he's worth a bajillion dollars. But anyways, imagine if that was the table right to the right of you and then the table to the left of you is like people auditioning, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or just like four dudes working on tags for a bit that they <laughs> just like, did at the open mic at yeah. the pizza place in Austin, and you're like, what happened to this city? <laughs> yeah. And then, and, oh, and then and then you're sitting there at your pizza place, and you didn't realize they do open mic nights now, and you're going, I didn't get vaccinated for this. Yeah. And then uh, on stage, steps up one, he's like, uh hello i was like what <laughs> everyone whips their neck and it's elon doing a he's like doing you know i hear a lot about stand-up comedy and i find that comedy is really about being honest yeah grimes is actually sucking my dick last night <laughs> <laughs> do do you guys think that oh sorry i'll let you finish i thought that was the joke I mean, <laughs> or was there? I was trying to think of what a joke, like a, a joke Elon would make. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What did Elon have like more there, or did go, Elon was at the end of the joke for Elon? I feel like he just go, you know, on Twitter that people think when Grimes sucks my dick, she goes beep boop beep boop, but she doesn't. She sucks it like a regular person. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Beep boop. Is she a robot? I don't know, man. <laughs> what? I think people think she's like an alien or something. 
That was the best on the fly, Elon. You know, in character, <laughs> that's the best thing I could come up with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry yeah. that was so bad. You know, if she wasn't good at uh, sucking dick, um, she'd <laughs> potentially become my SpaceX. Nice. There it is. Now, nah, what if it's just? <laughs> what if it, it's not jokes at all? It's just him <laughs> just talking about wildly inappropriate shit. <laughs> you know it's weird in South Africa you can't have a threesome with your parents apparently that's weird everyone's like whoa <laughs> what <laughs> me and Grimes are sort of open and I feel like my dad should have something special before he leaves this earth <laughs> I wanted to do something that we could share together and so did she I would be cracking the fuck up. <laughs> like, is, this, is this an incest joke or is it not a joke? Is he talking about incest? <laughs> I think because all, all like his his version of comedy is just you know like making stuff four hundred and twenty dollars, which I agree is funny. Yeah, four twenty is the true. we all know that's the pot number, and we all know that's fucking funny. Yeah, and same with sixty nine. That's a great number too. That's the number that represents. Yeah, you know um, when you're filleting someone and then they're filleting you at the same time that's six nine right it's a great number filleting i like filleting that. yeah um Over and fillate me yeah he also did the he did the um what was the tesla tequila that shit sold out like right away instantly gravy got one and wasn't it 420 bucks or something like that uh, yeah i don't know 69 69 69 69 something Is like he- that <laughs> that bottle was dope though like, do you think you'd go on stage and just fart and say, my iPhone password's 42069, four, nine. and then fart again? It could work. Look at my weed socks. <laughs> Look at those. I laugh like at that. I definitely Check out like these that. weed socks. Wait, dude, did you, you saw him tweet that meme where it was like, my lower back hurts from carrying my massive cock? <laughs> what? Yeah. He doesn't I'm care saying, anymore. Dude, he has the same he sense of humor care. as like a 13-year-old. Yeah, he does not care anymore. It's kind of it's kind of tight. It's kind of dope. So maybe he's not a good maybe I'm maybe I'm making this sound too cool. People are like, "What? Elon might do open mics in Austin? That's dope." All right, we need to switch it up. Dude, but we fucking I had to move some stuff out of my apartment yesterday or two yeah. days ago. And Cash Block and I were j- like joking about a oh, old like like fucking bigot boomer doing stand up, but he doesn't tell any jokes. It's just him like just saying horrible shit. It's like, and apparently you can't call him gay anymore. <laughs> and then that's just it. Like he's just doing that, <laughs> just various things. <laughs> LGB, I don't know what you call the alphabet community. In my day, you just called them gay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that happens all the fucking oh, time. No, 100%, 100%. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah. But you know, yeah, I, I remember going to an open mic, not an open mic, a comedy night at Townhouse in Venice. <clears> and <throat> there was an old trucker looking dude. He kind of looked like me right now. Nice. And that it, he, w- he was just doing that. He was ranting. And the whole audience was like, ugh, this is awkward. And he was Start just a podcast, going. bro. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. So you know, I'm, 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 I'm happy we stayed, man. I'm happy we didn't do the uh, Austin, ex- Austin Exodus. I, I am too. I mean, I, I like Texas. I'm gonna go visit for sure. Like, no, I'm yeah. Not, I, you know, I'd like to go to Austin. Like for sure next year for sure and visit and see what it's all about but i dude i just feel bad because we had an uber driver who was telling us how he grew up in uh when when we were there doing the austin show by the way i had a crazy memory about the austin show last night that i want to bring up but okay um and i remember our uber driver he came from a, a a flyover state or you know midwest east coast something there and he you know he moved to Austin to change his life because it was affordable and the city he came from was fucking awful. And he said, man, I love this city because it, it just gave me so much opportunity because, you know, I can like rebuild my life now. And I just feel bad because I guarantee there's a, definitely a certain amount of people who moved to Austin for that reason. And now these assholes who have money in California are going to be like, I don't 
don't want to pay taxes anymore. Yeah. And then they just go over there and just ruin that shit. Yeah. <laughs> just how, how cost of housing skyrockets. It, it, it's ex- probably going to explode, man. Yeah, and all these people are, all these California people, the barbecue here is fucking phenomenal. Seriously. <laughs> it is phenomenal. We do not get barbecue like this in California. I What's swear it? to God. Meanwhile, the fucking owner of the joint, it's like homeless now. <laughs> yeah, bro. The, I just picture a bunch of people from Silicon Valley with like hairlines like in the middle of their head and big ass eyes and thin lips being like, I love the barbecue. And the barbecue like, is so good. Seriously, <laughs> microdose a little tiny little shrooms and then eat some of the barbecue and it is life changing, dude. It is life changing. <laughs> Oh, man, the whole team would love this barbecue. We're trying a new thing where we do Adderall and mushrooms while we work. And uh, I don't really write much of the code these days, but, oh, man, they would love this. You would love this Soylent. It's brisket flavored. Seriously, twice a day I drink this shit, and it's so good. It tastes like mac and cheese, but the real Texas kind. They're doing the they're, they're doing the thing where they're holding their fork and knife while talking. Yeah, like just <laughs> pinned down and just. <laughs> have, every <laughs> night I have a Beyond Burger. Have you had a Beyond Burger? <laughs> I'll tell you, this is beyond this world, buddy. Oh my god. We're thinking about building one of these barbecue joints in the first floor of the office. And so what I did is I bought out this little mom and pop shop and I fired them all because they're not efficient. And we took the recipes. We plugged in some employees that I actually shipped out from San Francisco. Real reliable folk. And and now we've got barbecue in our office. (laughs) Wow, this brisket's amazing. I'm going to buy this place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you say? Fuck. What do you say? <laughs> I got my buds on from Kleiner Perkins on the phone right now. They're willing to invest four, $4 million up front right now. If you, walk, if you give this place to me, give me the keys right now. We'll license your name. We'll sell a smoker in your name. We'll cut you in on 3%. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Is it, no, I like what I do, and oh, but we mean, like it line better. The, but this, I'm doing we fine. We like there's it line, way more. There's a the line whole out the team door. could use this. <laughs> Thank. I mean, I appreciate that. Thank you, but uh, like, yeah. Oh, it's how I support my family, and I just want to. <laughs> I want to buy your family too. <laughs> sure, the barbecue tastes good, but how does millions of dollars taste? <laughs> just give me your barbecue restaurant <laughs> and your family, <laughs> and you can live a life of luxury. <laughs> <laughs> It were not a, I'm certain I look like shit through that whole bit because, oh man, I should have shaved today. That would have made my face look a, a lot less worse. <laughs> a lot less worse? Less worse, yeah. That's good. That's what, that's what being 30 is, is just trying to look less worse. Yeah. You just that's look That's a really bad. good way to put it. Um, what, uh, Can we watch this? People are begging us to watch this. And I really think it's one of the funniest TikToks I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, let it rip. Oh, By the way, we, we cannot we cannot talk about what? Wait, I, I can't see your face. Hold on. Uh oh. What? We can't talk about um Blake Saul. People Blake said Saul? enough. I'm just Blake Saul. Oh oh, Blake Saul. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well we well why don't we give it two minutes? And and um. Brogan doll. <laughs> We're not allowed. No more. They said no more. We can call him. Oh, yeah. Pick. Oh, dude. Plake. Plake Jall? Pick Jall. y'all. More like play- Jake Paul, more like played y'all. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, this man right here. 
I gotta I gotta mute it though because the music is copyrighted. So maybe <clears throat> Nate, let's put some let's put some like maybe like some heart th- uh uh heart. What's the word? <laughs> Fucking tug on your heartstrings music for this. All right, a little sad music. Yeah, a little sad. In the zone. Mm, let it rip. Okay, this is from a guy. His name's Alex. Something Mich- Michael and Chin, whatever. Here, let's read it for the people that are just listening, okay? It's this hockey-looking guy standing there. This guy could not be more Calgary. Y- yeah. Yeah, this is where he's from, too. He's, he's from looking. Calgary. This is every kid that I knew in high school, okay? <laughs> Little rip. The new girl... So it's his friend saying this. The new girl is huge. Gross. Look at her. And he, like, nods, and he goes, Shut up, guys. And he comes up to her, and he goes, I'm sorry about that. It's okay, I get it all the time. I'm Alex, by the way. I'm Christy. Nice to meet you. Want to go for lunch? His friends, she's gross. Why would you go for lunch with her, Alex? He said, shut up, guys. <clears throat> Don't listen to them. <clears throat> you pick the place and I'll pay. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for lunch, Alex. Of course. So you're new, why Calgary? Well, my dad passed away six months ago, and my mom couldn't afford our place we lived in, so she got a job here. I'm so sorry. So I've been depressed and gained a bunch of weight. It's been hard. I'm completely understand. Also, why didn't he get rid of the I'm so sorry underneath? <clears throat> That's it for part one. So, man. Well, There's like three more parts of that. Is this like the Calgary Riverdale or something? <laughs> Outer Banks? That shit is... Isn't that fucking absurd? <laughs> just that first line. Who? Yo, that girl is huge! <laughs> I, just, just, I just want to say, like, it, it's it's funny to create a scenario like that because you have to write that part, too. Yeah, that's what... Like, you're funny. acting... You write yourself as the hero, but you also wrote those insults at the beginning. Yeah, you, you fabricated this situation of some... <laughs> fucking big girl getting made fun of, dude. Did you see that retweet that showed me cackling? It was it was a girl. It was like, like th- yeah, thinking about the time this dude called me like a fat ass, like in real life or whatever. <laughs> At Knoxville, which you, if you knew what the fuck that was like, oh, it's like some kick ass shitty bar. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Actually, it's not kick ass in any way. It's actually just shitty. <laughs> oh man. That's so funny. Damn. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, listen up. One second. We want to talk to you about three chi. Uh, that rhymes. That's right. Yep. Three chi. Yep. It is the industry leader in Delta Eight THC products. Now, what does that mean? It means all their products are formulated by a biochemist. Boom. Delta Eight is federally, federally, federally legal version of THC, and is more function and is a more functional alternative to marijuana for those who want the same great feelings without the negative side effects. Wow. You know, Delta 8 will have you feeling amazing yet be functional and clear-headed instead of lazy and paranoid. 3G isn't just the best in the Delta 8 industry. They invented the industry. Holy heck. 3G's Delta 8 is 100% hemp-derived, federally legal, and available online at 3G.com. That's the number 3, C-H-I.com, and at select retailers around the country. (laughs) Delta 8 users report feeling far more active and outgoing with increased confidence and almost none of the anxiousness and paranoia associated with Delta 9 usage. You must be 21 to purchase. Just go to 3chi.com, the number 3 and then chi.com, to to shop for Delta 8 vapes, gummies, tinctures, and oils that can be used to make make homemade edibles. Use code TMG at checkout and receive 5% off your order, and you must be 21 to purchase. Damn. I saw TikTok. It was a... The girl driving, she said, she's younger, she's like, boys are so weird. And why is it that every group of boys goes through a phase where they're just moaning? And I just chuckled and thought, it never ends, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's not a phase. It's not a phase. Not a phase. Sorry. <sighs> you actually start a whole podcast based on it. You can do a whole podcast. But speak, oh, wait, wait, speaking of the podcast, we have to shout out, you know, a very a couple listeners. Um, I actually don't know their names. All I know is this person's name is Captain Morgan on Twitter. Okay. And this is something we talked about in our live show before the, you know, 
pan- before coronavirus hit. And it's that there is an insane amount of you that have sent us pictures or messages saying, I just totaled my car listening to the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so we have to shout out Captain Morgan and we'll send these pictures to Nate. Um, what, what, let me, let me just make sure I get the uh, timestamp here. <laughs> because uh, this girl, this girl, uh, so it was her and her friend and they wrecked their shit. <laughs> Scroll up in the thread. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. Um, so shout out to you guys. You know, uh, hopefully your insurance covers that. You know, maybe you don't want to, you know, maybe we need to bleep out your name so you can get your insurance claim, but holy shit. Hold on, I'm I'm pulling it up. Hold on. Oh, are you? <clears throat> making it. <sighs> Quick imager. Imger. There it is right there. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> the growth on TikTok podcast was great. May have caused some light chuckles in a total vehicle. Ha ha. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that thing is fucked up. How did you do that? How, did, how is it so fucked up on the front, the side, and the back? <laughs> like, That's what I don't get, man. <laughs> You guys, you guys did like a like a like a <laughs> Mission Impossible scene or something like it's 360 just, tail whip. Yeah, that is crazy, man. Good for you your, guys. Your car got in a fight. I was I have to, dude. It's car. Their car literally has a black eye. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you fucked it, man. <laughs> good for you guys. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're definitely sorry. But that's a good thing, right? <clears throat> No, it it I'm you know selfishly I, I take it as a good thing because that means we're still hitting. We haven't yeah. lost the touch. You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. Yeah, yeah. Still, I mean, I gotta admit, I went back and watched the Lewis Hamilton thing. I was dying. <laughs> I was, Yo, someone uh, said he has a song with Christina Aguilera. What? Really? I was. Do we have to do that in the bonus? We gotta I, watch I read, that in the bonus. I read that and sure. lost my noodles. I said, <laughs> what? <laughs> I do remember he was on Instagram Live, like recording himself rapping and shit. I I, I couldn't watch. I couldn't oh watch. no! Yeah. Oh no! Fuck no, man. Formula find... One is the greatest reality show on earth. Wow, it's the greatest reality show on earth. Uh, what's this Tom Cruise thing? <laughs> Bro, he flips his shit. <laughs> Can we listen? <laughs> oh yeah. This uh, is. I'm stoked. Yeah. So, oh, this some... is on. You linked a website. This, so this is. What is this? This website that you linked. Um, it seems like oh, some Reddit. Sort of forum. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a, it's like the comment section of Live Leak, mm. but just as a website. Oh, okay, that's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, this is Tom Cruise on the set of Mission Impossible Seven. <clears throat> I love that oh top comment. God. Les Grossman is back, baby. <laughs> I don't ever want to see it again. <laughs> ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. And I see you do it again, you're <laughs> gone. And anyone on this crew does it. Like this. And you too. And you too. And you. Don't you ever <laughs> do it again. God, the, 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 like, Timber, he's got in his voice, you know? He's just accessing the back part of his throat. Man. Don't you ever! <laughs> Don't you ever! Dude, when he hit Fucking that mo- do it again! Dude, when he hit that motherfucker, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, so funny that he said it right after. Like, like basically, we're doing a good thing. We're creating thousands of jobs, you motherfuckers! Fuckers. You're fired! <laughs> We're creating jobs. We're giving people their livelihoods back. By the way, you're fired. Fuck you. 
Dude, when he hits his and you and you and you, I like to picture <laughs> it's only those four, like four people in the room, four or five people in the room. And you, and you, and you, don't you ever fucking do it again. <laughs> That's it. You're that's not it. Pause. That's the that's the greatest twist of this whole thing. Is we we know the future and that is not it. That's not it. We still got I'm we're sure, about halfway. I'm sure when he said that's it, the whole room was like, okay, thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no, you got another minute <laughs> at least. Well, to the people that are losing their. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the sensor beat makes this so much funnier. Dude. <laughs> shut down. It's not going to put food on their table or pay for their college education. College! Damn. This guy's... Education! <laughs> <laughs> or their barbecue! <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're buying their fucking barbecue! <laughs> Who do you think pays for this barbecue? Craft services! Me, I bought the fucking place! <laughs> That's what I sleep with every night! In the future, the fucking industry! <laughs> Damn, dude, you got a lot of riding on you. Uh, crazy that Mission Impossible 7 holds the keys to the future of the entire fucking film industry. To be honest, it wouldn't surprise me just by the sheer amount of people it probably takes to make that fucking movie. Yeah. I bet yeah. there's like a key grip on there who's like, you fucking assholes. <laughs> I need this so bad. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> so I'm sorry, I'm beyond your apologies. I have told you, and now I want it. And if you don't do it, you're at We are not shutting this movie down! Oh my god! Holy fuck! He just reached an entire new level there. Yeah. Yeah. Is it understood? <laughs> if I see it again, you're fing gone. And so are you. I don't think I get it yet, Tom. <laughs> Tom, over. You? I actually don't Tom, think I I was just yet. saying, if I see it again, you're fucking gone! <laughs> Dude. Understood? It's it's so funny to think about him wanting to get in their faces, but he has to stay six feet away. <laughs> yeah. So he's just six feet away, like, leaning in. He's pushing the edge. Like, his nose is coming over that. Invisible. That invisible inch. Yeah. He's pushing into that force field. Yeah. Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> he sees the, what you see in the Oculus. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that, like, little, it's just that little grid. force field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I could, I'd be in your face. I could, right I'd be now. in your fucking face right now. You'd smell my cornbread breath <laughs> from craft services that I paid for because <laughs> I carry the whole weight of this industry. Who do you think is keeping the barbecue industry alive right now? Uh, who do you think you are? I am. So you're gonna cost him his job, and I see it on the set. You're gone, and you're gone. That's it. Am I clear? Do you understand what I want? Do you understand the responsibility that you have? Yes, because Tom. You're fired. <laughs> Fuck you. I will deal with your reason. And if you can't be reasonable, and I can't deal with your logic, you're fired. That's it. That is it. What? <laughs> I trust you guys to be here. Damn. <clears throat> I mean, I get it. Is he a, is he the director? I I I wonder if he maybe he's like an executive producer, so maybe he or maybe maybe he's just like a key element in getting money for these movies. It sounds like he's the head honcho. Also so funny he's screaming like fucking particles are just spraying through his mask. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, dude my yeah. guy's mad. I mean, but I mean, hey, uh, he's got a point, right? Bro, can you imagine how upset you would be if you had, if if they're maybe even in a foreign country or just somewhere they went through so many 
hoops and paid all that money to get all that shit there just for someone to get coronavirus and they have to kill the whole thing. Oh yeah, I can't even imagine how much money it costs to put that production on hold for like even a week. It's probably like $10 million. Bro, the... And it kind of is true because, you know, for the next year, Hollywood is going to use this as the model to fund movies at this Mm -hmm. caliber. And so if this one gets shut down, they lose money on it, then there's not going to be another one. And fucking what would what would we do without Mission Impossible? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, the whole the whole movie industry would collapse. I'm just saying, what would we do without another Mission Impossible specifically? I mean, to be honest, Mission Impossible is probably the only other franchise that releases now outside of Avengers. Yeah, and superhero shit, and 007, Yeah, mm-hmm. Bro, ne- one and Fast and the Furious was uh yeah. Yeah, all this, yeah. But, you know, never as good as the first. Just have to throw that out there. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, guys, I know that none of you watch porn. But just in case you have any friends that do, you'll want to pay attention to this. (laughs) With everything that goes on in the world, you know, governments increasing their surveillance, um, they're using your devices to track your location, your movements, and in many countries, your internet activity. Activity, excuse me. You don't want to be literally caught with your pants down. And one of the best ways to keep your online browsing activity private is by using ExpressVPN. When you use ExpressVPN, your internet connection is rerouted through a secure encrypted server. So you can surf the web anonymously without anyone looking over your shoulder, digitally or physically. Exactly. And I know you probably think that all you have to do is use incognito mode and no one can see that you've watched every last hentai video on Pornhub. But you're wrong. Even when you use incognito mode, you're... you're, That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Even when you use incognito mode, your internet provider like Comcast or AT&T can see every single website you visit. And if you live on campus or use a shared Wi-Fi, your network admin can too. To be honest, that's kind of scary because the fucking, so this is how this shit works. This is actually pretty crazy. If you use incognito mode, your IP address is not different. Yeah. It just doesn't track the history locally. But anyone who's seeing your IP address at your, uh, at your, internet service provider can also see that you're also going to your own Instagram page all the time on that IP address and they can just tell that to you, you know? And without Express... That's why... Oh, go sorry. Ahead. Oh, go ahead. That's why I use ExpressVPN whenever I go online and I recommend all of you do the same. Yeah. Without ExpressVPN, you're giving people a free license to peek over your shoulder and see all the freaky shit you're looking at. So uh, protect your privacy today and get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Visit expressvpn.com slash TMG. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash TMG for three months free with a one-year package. Um, listen, guys, don't let your hentai dirty laundry hang out for everybody to see. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> one of Nima's buddies produced a pretty big music video, and he was saying that coronavirus safety stuff... He said it eats up so much money <coughs> and the third parties that <clears throat> are sort of responsible for that. It's just, you know, or I don't, in so many words, like what I gathered from what he said was basically that these companies can kind of charge whatever they want. And, and it's, and I guess it's a theme that when the budget's big companies, not necessarily people doing coronavirus testing, but will just charge more because they know there's money there, which is so mm. shit. Yeah. And but yeah, he said it's it's wild how how much a, the coronavirus protocol stuff eats into the money before you even get to getting the stuff you need to make it. So I can only imagine in a movie of this scale, yeah. it's probably just huge money. Big and what do you th- budget? And what do you think what do you think happened here? Someone's just walking around without their mask? I I would think like a group of dudes probably just went out. <clears throat> I would think they're just in like some random city and they're like, oh, dude, let's just, we're just here. We're not doing shit. We don't yeah. work till Monday. Yeah. Let's just go out, dude. I'm sick let's of- go, Let's just go fuck a local. <laughs> yeah, let's just go fuck a local. <laughs> Guys, I'm terribly sorry to let you know I will not be participating in next week's race. Um, because- um, I've gotten my dick sucked by a local. Yeah, last week I got sucked off by a local. <laughs> and um, I mean, she really sucked the- this all out of my body. <laughs> she came out like a banshee, just like absolute monster. She sucked, sucked me off. <laughs> Tom Cruise. You guys want to go get sucked off? 
Huh? The whole future of the, mu the movie industry is resting in our hands, and you're going to go get sucked off by a local. That's what I sleep with every night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys getting sucked off by a local. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> our boy oh, was... Man. Our boy was ninja mad. Yeah, seriously. That was ninja level yeah. tilt, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's out there. It's not just a movie. It's not people say it's just a movie. It's Tom, it's just Mission Impossible. <laughs> it's not just Mission Impossible. It's the fil the future of the film industry. <laughs> and you guys are getting If you say off, it's just a movie, this. literally kill yourselves. <laughs> It's like ninja toxic. If you think this is just a movie, literally kill yourselves. <laughs> you are the worst person in the entire planet. <laughs> if it's just a movie to you, then why are you making it? Every time you go to make a movie, it should be mind-bending. Uh, uh, it's a mind-bending experience that you're trying to provide. Yeah. You should be competitive about it. You should be trying to make the greatest movie on earth every single time. Every single time. And if you don't, then you should kill yourself. You should definitely get rid of yourself. Get rid of your life. Get rid yourself from this earth, motherfucker. I'm just struggling to remember the exact thing Ninja said about, you know, when people are like, it's just a game. Yeah, he probably that was probably pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> you think we'll ever get to meet Ninja? Um, I think that yes, we will. You think so? Yeah, I think that one day we'll get to meet him. Hmm. And I think, um, yeah, and I think maybe we should pitch him our patented barbecue hole. Oh, is that what we're calling it? The barbecue hole? Yeah, it's just a hole for when you shit out your meat meat shits. <laughs> you cook any meat this weekend? Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> Fire up that grill? <laughs> I did. I did. I, I cooked ribs nice. again, but this time I made beef ribs. Ah. Oh, by the way, charcoal grills, totally common. I don't know why. I don't know shit about barbecuing, by the way. <clears throat> so when we were talking about it and I was like, charcoal? What is it? Are you a caveman? I got some comments that were like, no, that's actually very common. But I don't know shit. I just know shit about the one that yeah. I got. I'm not even going to pretend like I knew that. I just, you know... I figured people still use charcoal. They do, indeed. It's very common, and I'm an idiot. But <laughs> um, I, yeah, I cooked beef beef ribs, and they actually turned out really fucking good. Nice. And now this weekend, I want to make some pulled pork, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> You're gonna kill a pig in your backyard? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Man, <clears throat> you ever watch that YouTube channel? Uh, it's like jungle architecture or something. Of Basically, it's just two two guys in in a jungle somewhere, and they make homes and pools out of dirt. And it, hold on, let me let me let me pull up one of these examples. But basically, I'm watching one of these, and <laughs> these guys they make a pool, and then they go to a local, <laughs> like a nearby river, to get water to fill the pool with, and they set it up so that there's a a pig just laying in the water and then they walk over to it and they uh they they pull it out and one guy throws it over his shoulder which is, in, is like insane and then they just the next frame is them cooking it and it's the Aww. craziest <laughs> story progression in three seconds i've seen in my entire life hold on let me did they not they didn't show the killing part i guess that probably would nah <laughs> not not the best content for youtube as asking to get demonetized, you know? Jungle survival. Hold on. This this is... Oh, that shit's awesome, man. I, yeah. I, I love that shit. That's so much fun to watch. Yeah. Like, I gotta. I want to start watching Naked and Afraid. <laughs> it's that same sort of shit. People just living off the land. Yeah. Except this one is just a YouTube music. I'm finding the exact timestamp where they go and get the, the pig. It's pretty... Pretty wild. Hold on. There was a there's a giant possum in my backyard yesterday. <laughs> I might catch that bad boy and cook it up. <laughs> you ever had possum meat? I have. Possum taco? 
<laughs> no, you haven't. Yeah. What? When we were in West Virginia, they eat possum. No taco way. Out there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not fucking with me. No. Possum taco. Huh. No. And how was it? I, I'm fucking oh, with you, you. fucker. <laughs> Go to go to ten minutes on this video. I'm pretty sure this is it. Build billionaire swimming pool for jungle residents villa house. Why is this named like a children's video? Bruh, the, these videos are a, a world of their own. I'll show you another one after this, dude. Go to ten minutes. You said. Yeah, you can mute this shit because I don't know what the, the yeah, yeah. music's like. All right, hold on. You can you can let it play for a second. Yeah, but you get the gist as you scrub through this. They just so they carve. built this whole thing. Yeah, they just carved it out of clay and what? <laughs> this is fucking insane. Yeah, these the these videos are therapeutic, man. So, as per you know, per usual. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, you, you go to go to eleven minutes. Okay. They they show it that they fill these pools with these. Jars. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're walking yeah, yeah. back and forth between this like watering hole to fill this pool, mm-hmm. and they noticed they noticed a little um, a little hump on the right a side. Big old hump on the right. It's a giant pig. These dudes are ripped. It's already dead way. though. Yeah, yeah, no, it's already dead. They like uh, set yeah, this okay. up to be part of the. But you know, it's just such a crazy. Like run it back, run it back from the top, and then just <laughs> even further back. This is the sequence of events. They go to get water, and then, oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something feels wrong about that. I don't know why. Yeah, no, it's something. Lifeless pig just get. Feels very off. Over. And then just, hello. Oh, wow. Oh. Like, I can't wait for aliens to do this to us. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, man. That's really gross. I feel like somebody's going to get triggered by this. <laughs> well, Nate, time for you to blur some shit. No, it's fine. Okay. Um, okay, here's one that I that I got sent. I, I'm not going to play it, but it's basically like this Chinese lady that, that makes silk from scratch. She Man. breeds silkworms and then harvests them. I was say, them. does she pull it out of like a spider's asshole? Yeah, exactly. Just... Little, little, there's a little bit of thread coming out of the asshole, and you just you take it with tweezers and you just rip it out. <laughs> no, these worms that they build like cocoons of silk, and then she like harvests the silk, and then, the, and the whole thing is like, you know, there's kind of like spa music playing in the background. It's ten yeah. minutes of this, and she's just it's like a beautifully mesmerizing meditative video of her making a silk blanket from scratch. Yeah, it's crazy. I got. I mean, what's the channel? I want to see this. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, how do how do silkworms make silk? Does it just throw up? Um, no, it's like a cocoon. I think. How can something so disgusting make something so beautiful? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm looking up a silkworm right now. Oh man. They look weird. Uh, hold on, I'll find the video for you after. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, these silkworms just look... It, it looks like a joint that you just left out in the sun or something. <laughs> like, like That you forgot about. You're like, oh, look at this. You want to smoke this? Just a wet, soggy joint? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. A joint that fell off at like a water ride. You're just trying to get high at a theme park, and then just oop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, we're not gonna talk about pig jaw. Pig jaw? No. Okay. Can't talk um, about played y'all. Not at all. Can't talk about snake balls. Okay. All right. Fine. I'm down. Why? Why? What'd you want to say about snake ball? I had. I mean, I. I had nothing really. I had no hot takes. Same as everyone else's. But um. Uh. Yeah. That's it. I mean, that's it. There's nothing really you can say. Everyone thinks the exact same thing. Yeah. It's just they yeah. see it and they go, "Ugh. That's that's what it is. Ugh." Mhm. That's 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 perfectly encapsulates is, my opinion. Ugh. Which is totally, you know, to be expected when you look at a pair of snake balls. Cuz you don't think snakes have balls. Yeah. And and you think 
what? Yeah. And the fact that they'd be so saggy and yeah. but and soggy. But still somehow the texture of a, you know, of 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 a designer bag. Yeah. You know, it's just a weird so you know, it's it's natural that you go, ugh. Yeah. And just keep scrolling. Perfect. We should exactly. just make up what he does in his life and try to get those clips going viral. What do you mean? Oh, like those old um those old like copy pastas where it's like I ate beside Playboy Cardi one time at a restaurant and he ordered two bowls of soup and either that or I mean ate just half just, a spoon and combined half a spoonful of each of them into no, one we just spoonful and fully lie like that. We just fully lie about his his like life. Like we just make something up that he did and we know it firsthand. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, we were talking with Jake Paul's assistant. This fool bought a monkey and then had it killed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why the FBI was at his place, actually. That's why the FBI was at his place because he was running like an animal abuse operation. Yeah. An illegal zoo. A pet, an illegal petting zoo for his homies. And then he would just kill the animals afterwards. No, he's running an illegal petting zoo with his boys. But what you don't know is that it's just all the former Team 10 members locked up in his basement. He's starting an influencer museum. What you don't know is Jake Paul has transcended the level of wealth where he's like trafficking humans as collective, like collector's items. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I talked to his lawyer about it. It's pretty wild. It's insane. You know, the Ace family, he actually paid them $10 million for them to have a kid, and he has that kid now. It's locked up in his basement. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Because he wanted an Ace family kid all for himself <laughs> that he could, you know, make content with. Yeah. That's kind, of a, that's kind of an interesting premise for like a horror movie. You know, some dude collecting influencers in a weird way. Like, you know, he's, just, he's got them trapped in some world. It's basically like someone a, or someone kidnapping a f uh, a family and then like making family vlog content with them mm. and forcing them to be like happy on camera. Oh, that's mm. creepy. Yeah. I mean, you know, why not? Guys, this holiday season, more people will be mailing stuff than ever before. That means the post office is going to be busy as F. You don't have time for that. Stamps.com brings the post office and now UPS shipping right to your computer. Mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home or office. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. It's a must-have for any business, whether you're a small office sending out invoices, an online seller fulfilling orders during this record-setting holiday season, or even a giant warehouse sending thousands of packages a day. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Simply use your computer to print any official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple. And with stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates, bro. So don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office this year. Sign up for stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With our promo code TMG, you can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term long commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. That's stamps.com. Enter TMG. Guys, you want to get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door? Well, look no further than the HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, all right? It's and stress-free. HelloFresh offers convenient, no-contact delivery to your doorstep for easy home That's cooking right. with the family or by yourself. The recipes are easy to follow with simple steps and pictures to guide you along the way. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes. 30. It's flexible for your lifestyle. Uh, you can easily change your delivery days or meal plan preferences and skip a week whenever you need, uh, whenever you need to right on the app. Delicious, it's delicious and nutritious variety. They deliver fresh, high quality, pre-portioned ingredients so you can make meals that are delicious and nutritious. I, we, you know, I've, I fucking love the shit that we made a few weeks ago. Um, Bibimbap, that was my favorite one. I already said that last week, but that still is my favorite one. Um, yeah, and over 90% of the ingredients are sourced directly from growers 
to ensure peak flavor and ripeness. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 80TinyMeat and use the code 80TinyMeat to get $80 off, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 80TinyMeat and code 80TinyMeat to get $80 off, including free shipping. Who was that chick, that the British influencer that... Um, Jake Paul. It wasn't Jake Paul. Sorry. <laughs> she was kind of like unstable a little bit and people thought that she was being like held captive and she was like sending messages through her videos to like try and save her uh yeah 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 yeah. what the fuck was her name she like, disappeared for a while and then came back and then she was like i'm fine i'm not being held captive i'm looking up british youtuber marina joyce yeah that was her what I, what happened with her let's look at her channel and see if she's gucci <laughs> well her instagram is Marina Mew Meow, and her last post was on December 7th. Yeah, so she's smiling. Chilling. Yeah, she's chilling. She's all good. <clears throat> and she posted a video three weeks ago doing her, okay, girlfriend does boyfriend's ASOS shop. Okay. Um, what did you, uh, why don't you just do the Dana White impression here of what he said about the Jake Paul fight though? <laughs> just cause people love your Dana White impression. Did you, did you see, uh, his follow-up statement? It was even better than that. <laughs> no, what was okay, it? So initially, initially Dana White says, um, uh, there's zero percent. I can't wait. No, no, no. I have to, I need to exact. <laughs> I need the exact sentence. I need the exact sentence. I need the exact sentence. Hold on. <laughs> that was good, though. That was good. You got me into it there. <laughs> Wait. Well, okay. I can't find the exact sentence, but he okay. says, um, ori- originally he said there's 0% chance. Yeah. Conor McGregor is one of the greatest fighters on earth right now. He shouldn't be fighting kids that have a fuck that have fucking YouTube videos. All right, that's <laughs> that was his first one. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. There's a zero percent chance that they fight. And then his follow up is even better. Well, I'm thinking of letting Amanda Nunes knock his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he would get wrecked. Jake uh snake balls? Yeah. 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 By Amanda Nunes, I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it was so funny. Some some person was like, I see you know, a lot of these. First of all, I've realized who the grown adult snake ball fans are. Who? They're like weird. They're they're like weird older dudes that have like like mid thirties, it seems, with a very dated concept of masculinity. I saw okay. one guy riding his dick okay riding hard for 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 snake in on twitter okay he's adult as fuck and he's just yapping to people at least he has the balls to do it (laughs) it's like ah (laughs) come on man (laughs) come Uh, on man (laughs) thinking about letting amanda nunez knock his ass out (laughs) <laughs> didn't he get beat by that fucking english youtube kid that english oh, video game, game the, the video game kid the english video game kid <laughs> zero percent Man, chance that's so funny that's so funny thinking about like a 35 year old dude <laughs> just with a beer hey man at least he was the at least he was the boss to do it yeah i honestly think he's got a chance against mcgregor <laughs> The kid has well, balls, man. Dude, he's bigger. Yeah. Okay, he's bigger. Yeah. And he's got knockout power, dude. <laughs> what, you were saying that last week. <laughs> I mean, I was saying that in terms of he can hit someone. Yeah, yeah. And no, he I might know. have a, if he wants to spend the next 10 years getting better at boxing, sure. Yeah. But straight Did to- you see his Jeep? His new Jeep? So sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that Jeep is a monster, dude. We gotta take that off roading sometime, Jake. Jake, please reply. Please. Jake, please. Dude, please reply to me, man. Your Jeep is so sick, dude. 
No, my, I know my buddy ha- owns a car shop, and we could tune it up even more for you yeah. if you want. Yeah, I was gonna say it's even more obsessive than that. Yeah. Yo, I had the exact same toe hitch, bro. If you have any questions, hit me up anytime, bro. I fucking got you. Yeah, man. Dude, my buddy owns a bar in Scottsdale. And so anytime you come through, man, drinks on us, dog. We're going to take Seriously. care of you, dog. We'll For take real. care of you, man. Because you have balls, dude, and we love a dude with balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love someone that doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Fuck everybody, dude. Do you. Be a rebel, yeah, man. Dude. That's I know you kind of retired this phrase but i'd say my buddy and i we're jake pollers it is every day bro <laughs> that's what he should do that's what he should do that's what he should have done man he should have won that fight and then and then <laughs> and been, went on camera. the mic and been like just want to thank all my jake pollers it is and everyone watching day, that's bro. like yeah it's like oh oh fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> is that what i am right now <laughs> <laughs> You forget about that? That that's what he used to call his fans? <laughs> Did y'all forget a year ago he was doing <laughs> videos with an eleven year old? Let's look let's, right. let's No more? Okay. No, no, we can I mean we can keep going. You said people were pissed. I don't know. It's How do you funny. not talk about it though? That's the thing. How do you not talk about it? Like this. Moving on. Did you see no, I was um just not talk? Uh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Weird. What do you? What's up with you, dude? Oh, if we can't talk, I mean, I'm, I'm not much now, I and mean, we can't talk about. You know. We can't talk about. I don't want to name her. I don't want to name her. Name her. You see the new Jay Paul fight? The new what? The new Jay Paul fight. They do the Jay Paul fight. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Amanda Nunes knock his ass out. <laughs> Didn't get beat by that fucking video. I can't stop saying it, dude. It's just such a good <laughs> sentence, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that fucking take the smallest game, fighter in the UFC, and they'll fucking murder that kid. <laughs> oh, also, also, the or- Oracle is moving to Austin as well. Yeah, yeah. That was that's that was mainly my motivation for saying so I was gonna be all fucking dorks there. Yeah. Database architects, SpaceX <laughs> employees, and comedians, you know, man. You know, yeah, yeah, just just back end. Yeah, data engineers just after work. I'm thinking about trying stand up. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, the other night I built this model where I downloaded every stand up special ever and I ingested all the dialogue into <laughs> a massive database and from that i was able to craft a joke generator and i think i can tackle this <laughs> oh, hold on i guess I gotta show you something. i gotta i gotta we gotta watch this with people oh with people All right. <laughs> oh, ew, oh shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh this shit <laughs> <Again. laughs> <laughs> yo slapping the Adam's apple bam let her rip man dude beats the shit out of it i think that's probably my favorite tiktok series by far <clears throat> that kid beating the shit out of that thing and dude after i saw that i said i want one of those <laughs> oh me too just yeah. to slap the throat yeah, in the same way i want to i want to i want to do this to it but hella hard just like karate chop its throat just like aggressively just <laughs> Man, <laughs> that would feel so good. Anytime you're frustrated about something online, <laughs> you've got writer's block or whatever, just turn around and just... Ah! <laughs> Not that I have anger issues. I'm just saying. That would feel good. You know? <laughs> Dude, I actually just ordered a 125-pound a heavy bag. So I'm being... Oh, yeah? I'm being the bag. Just... You're going to put it in your studio? Uh, no, no, put it in the, you know, the out in, in the outback. Out, yeah, yeah, I see. In the outback. I'm putting it in the outback. You should in. fight Peg Mall. Peg Mall? Dude, I get yeah. whopped. I get wrecked. 
I'm just, dude, it's, it's funny. <sighs> just because, like, fighting is such a, a dual, you know, you, I feel like it's so easy to forget the cardio aspect of it. I'm just barely now at the point where my cardio, like, stands up that I can use strength all the way through. Yeah. God damn, dude. I just, like, now, now I watch fights, I get tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like before, well, I'm like, yeah, keep going. Now all I think about is fuck, and that's the only word that comes to mind. Anyway, and is the only way to increase your your boxing cardio is to box for longer, or can you do it by running? Like, is it you, just no? You cardio? can do it by, Yeah, yeah. It's, no, you can definitely like running. If I run before training, I, my cardio is so much better. Mm. Um, so yeah, you you can de- you can definitely condition it just through running. But I think the other tiring thing, specific, I think is specific to boxing, is the shoulder conditioning. Yeah, that shit is just that shit is. Um, but dude, it's kind of it's kind of dope because I feel like I'm actually getting more out of this than I did with physical therapy. Weirdly, yeah, no, I mean absolutely. So I was kind of. I like, think I that's just. I should have just been doing this earlier. Yeah. Whatever. No, I know. Me too, man. I'm realizing, like, if I don't fucking get in shape pretty soon, I'm just going to be like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in my 20s, it was like, I'm in my 20s. I still got time. I can be kind of like a, you know, treat my body like shit. And then, but mm-hmm. now it's like, no, no, I, if I don't build these habits right now, right this second, I'm going to be like this till I'm 50. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the thing that I've been struggling with is fucking diet. I cannot get myself to eat properly. I just. I me too. I finally started cooking again, though. That's good, man. I mean, that's what really helps is getting in the ha- habit of uh, yeah. thinking about what you're gonna make for dinner and going to get groceries and all that shit. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, then it just I just fall back into the Postmates thing, and it's impossible to get back into cooking. Mm-hmm. I mean, the thing that I I like I. On the days I box, it's so bad. I, I fucking, it's like I eat less and I'm just yeah. thinning the fuck out. I'm like, dude, I'm going to look, I'm going to look oh, like I those see. like 50 year old runners that shouldn't be running anymore. that are just burned brown from running outdoors <laughs> all day. They look like a raisin. That's how I'm going to yeah. look like. I'm like, you know, I've been boxing for two years now. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you my look friends, like shit? My friends, one of my friend's dads was, was like that. He, he like ran so much, but never took care of his body. Like, wouldn't do the proper stretching and all that stuff, and he would, he ran something like 12 miles every single morning, <gasps> and wouldn't really eat, and was running in the sun with no sunscreen. He just kind of, like... Yeah. It was pretty wild. Yeah. Well, I could touch my toes now, though. Huh? Uh-huh. Nice. You can? Yeah. Dude, that's sick, man. It's my... My boy's flexible. <laughs> that's my achievement at 30. I could touch that my toes That actually now. is really something to be proud of. Thanks, man. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a, uh, I, I fucking, <clears throat> I don't want to have low back pain. Yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> Shit sucks. Tell, uh, shoot me straight. You getting this vaccine or what? Hmm? You getting this vaccine or what? I mean, yeah, just, you know, I'm going to need <laughs> like a couple weeks. I just want to make sure nobody like throws up or something. You know? uh, my friend, my friend on Instagram got it because he's a doctor. Damn. He posted, with, he posted a picture with a bandaid. I was like, holy fuck. That just went so fast. Hold on one second. I gotta just see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello. 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 This is a drive from Cranbrook. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Come. Be right there. That was just such a hard pivot right there. Shoot me straight. You're getting this vaccine? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What vac? I, it took me a second there to realize. Oh, fuck. I didn't unmute. Sorry. 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 It's sorry. Fine. Took me a second to realize you had the coronavirus vaccine. Yeah. Yeah, you getting it or what, dude? Shoot me straight. Like, what, what vaccine? Oh, that one. That Well, that's what I'm saying. It happened so fast. You know what I'm saying? It, like, went from in November being like, it'll be ready by July mm-hmm. to all of a sudden, the first order, or the first trucks just yeah. got shipped out with the virus or with yeah. the vaccine. And then it's like, now my friend just got it. I'm like, oh, my God. This yeah. is crazy. I'm, I can fucking get this next week. Yeah. Who knows? I, I, just, know? I just want to, you know, I just want to give it like a couple weeks and make sure no one pukes or has like wicked diarrhea. I just want to know what I'm getting into. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 No, I feel you. I saw a TikTok and the guy was like, hey, sorry if I'm not making much eye contact today. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> eye contact? What does that have to do with being vaccinated? 
Just wait. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to get it. Autism, eye contact. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. I know. That's so bad. That's so awful. Uh, <laughs> that shit escaped me because uh, I don't. I just don't even believe that. So I'm like, what does? I do you feel this man? Like, he was like, and then he was like, and then he said, uh, yeah, he got the vaccination, but then he walked outside of the office and sucked it out like snake venom. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I don't want that Bill Bill Gates <laughs> mind control juice. <laughs> Uh, that was pretty funny. Do I don't you get know. This man, I, f- I feel like I, I take shit so literally now. <clears throat> what do you mean? I, I can't explain it. Like a, like a joke like that. I, I, I see that, and I my brain just goes to no eye contact, and then they say, "Oh, because of autism." I say, "Well, <laughs> that's doesn't really happen." So <laughs> I don't really get it. Yeah, but that's why it's a joke. I, d- I don't I don't know what's up, what's up with me, man. I've been taking shit way too literally lately. I need to I need to loosen up. Anyway, I'm surprised, man. I've, I've been cruising TikTok. I did not realize how dark it gets on there. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a lot of really grown, bad man. stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. There there are plenty of kids who are not going to get jobs because of <laughs> like so many. Yeah. I, I came across some fucking cruising my for you page today and this just scroll past this girl. She's just doing whippets over and over again. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the whole thing, though. Like, you get to see it from the start to the fit. She's like. Oh, like, boy. Dude. Oh, my yep. God. Yep. The jobs are no more. Yeah. That, uh, and I'm, you, you're going to want one of those one yeah. day. Yeah. I know right now probably doesn't seem like, yeah, what, who needs a job? Now you're going to need that. One day you're going to want a job. Trust, man. Yeah. Bro, I was crying at one. It was like, it's like, which of these animals is being sus? And it's just, it's like the first one is a hamster drinking water. Okay. And it's just, let me fucking pull this shit up, dude. I was fucking, and I'm not trying to make this a two guys on the computer thing, but God damn it, bro. This one killed me. It's so dumb. This shit is so juvenile. Let's see. Wait, did you send it? <laughs> About to. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, man. Is this oh uh, yeah, there's copyrighted music. <laughs> you don't have to Dude, fucking TikTok. This goddamn site. Oh my god. I mean we can go into the bonus right now. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into All the right, bonus. Alright, guys. Copyright music. free bonus. All right. So we're gonna be reviewing yeah. Lewis Hamilton's music with <laughs> Christina Aguilera and watching these animals fucking blow pipe, man. <laughs> All right. See you soon. See you guys. Love you guys.